Also making news, President Barack Obama's farewell address to the nation and his offer of thanks to Chicago is a little more than 24 hours away. His Chicago allies were speculating today about what the president might say and looking back at what he's done for the city. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely has the story. Ladies and gentlemen, David Axelrod. Speaking at the City Club, President Obama's former political advisor said he doubts the president will spend much time touting his accomplishments in his farewell speech. Uh, my guess is that he's going to talk more about the state of our democracy and some lessons that, that he's learned and uh, try and point the way forward. As preparations continued at McCormick Place for tomorrow night's nationally televised address, today Illinois Democrats were thanking the president for his last big gift to Chicago. I want it to be an economic opportunity for the entire city of Chicago. A one billion dollar grant to rebuild the CTA's north side red line and purple line. Tomorrow the president's going to come here to thank Chicago. Today I want to make sure we thank him. Time and again, the Obama administration has not forgotten where he came from, has not forgotten the city of Chicago. David Axelrod believes Obama will be most remembered for something beyond his politics and policy. It's the dignity and the honor and the thoughtfulness and grace that he brought to this office. And Democrats reminisced about how Illinois' support was key for Obama, long before the nation became fully aware of the inspiring speaker with an African name. I was the first senator to endorse him, and for 14 months I was the only senator who endorsed him. Nobody believed in him, but we did. And we stood behind him, and when he won in Iowa and went on to become president of the United States, he did us proud. As Democrats gushed over that billion-dollar CTA windfall, they also acknowledged that federal construction cash may be a lot tougher to come by going forward. President-elect Trump seems to be backing away from his off-repeated campaign pledge of a $1 trillion infrastructure plan. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Rob? Okay, Derek, thank you.